Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video is sponsored by Clip Studio Paint. Uh, Clip Studio is a drawing, painting and animation software and I'm super excited to try it out and see what I can create with it. I've heard a lot of good things about the animation tools that it has, so I thought for today's video I would create a short animated sequence where we also test out the software. Now this is going to be like a standalone test, so I'm not doing this for my film or anything, but I wanted to create a short scenario with some characters. You all know that I like mixing different forms of media, so I decided to start off by taking a 3D character that I have already modeled in Cinema 4D and set up my initial scene using that. I still want my final thing to look 2D animated, but I thought it could be cool to kind of use the 3D character as a sort of underpainting and then draw my final lines on top of it. By starting out in 3D, I can play around uh, finding a good frame for my character and then sort of export that still image into Clip Studio Paint. You can bring in external images or video files onto the Clip Studio timeline easily by just going up under File and Importing movies or images. This was just a still image to start with, uh, but since my 3D base layer here didn't have a lot of character details, my goal was to give him a design pass here. I just dropped the opacity of the 3D render and drew my line work over it. This really allows me to bypass any perspective challenges and I can fully play around with framing and composition at a very early stage without having to commit to any drawings. I drew the character twice here to get some good clean line work going. I always recommend iterating uh, the line work in sort of several layers as each will improve on the previous. I found this brush in Clip Studio that I really liked called Real Pencil. I made a copy of it and renamed it and played a bit with its settings and I renamed it just so that I wouldn't forget which one I was using. It has some really nice texture to it, which I always enjoy when it comes to brushes. A plain solid brush, like a hard round one, can look a bit too digital sometimes and I almost feel like I'm sort of slipping around the canvas with it. So I was happy that Clip Studio actually had such good brushes straight out of the box. I think they also allow you to import and create your own brushes, so there really are no limitations here. When I was happy with the design, putting on a bit of a moustache and so on, I actually exported this frame back into Cinema 4D uh, and altered the model that I had made to fit the new characteristics of my character. I then gave my camera a slight orbit around my guy here and I also animated his head slightly to look down towards us. This was just then rendered as a viewport render without any textures and brought back into Clip Studio. Uh, where we can now go all in on turning this guy into a 2D character. By having modeled the specific facial features that I drew earlier, it made my life a bit easier as I can now just follow these shapes when drawing the lines on top. Especially when it comes to slow moving shots like this where the frames are not very different from each other, yet still different, it's incredibly important to be accurate when placing the lines. It can easily look all wobbly and flickery if the lines are not in their exact correct position. You also want to make sure that the lines are consistent throughout the animation, so it really helps to focus on one area at a time. If you were to draw the full character chronologically one frame after the other, I think you would actually get quite a different result. I have to say that the timeline here is very good in the software. I like how easy it is to create new frames and sort of reorganize them. I'm used to Photoshop's timeline, which I think actually is lacking behind quite a bit here. The timeline here in Clip Studio, I think, works just like I want it to. This part of the process is a little bit time consuming, but quite relaxing as I have the base layer of my 3D character as a guide to follow. When the line work was done, I made a new animation folder below my line layers and started to color my character. This is even more time consuming than the first part, but it's sort of brainless activity that doesn't require my full focus, so I can have other distractions going on at the same time here.
I wanted this shot to be the second shot in a sequence where maybe first we show the character in a wider frame. So I made a new document here and drew a still frame of my character from the back. I try to imagine what could happen in this scene. As this was done completely for this video, I kind of backwards engineered the way I worked here. I had the idea that maybe he could stand in sort of a field of grass and possibly say something to a second character next to him. So I drew a younger guy that could maybe be his son. I made a video a while back where I showed how I made a painted looking field of grass in 3D. So I took the same approach here for this one and generated a field using the same technique. I kept the illustration I made in Clip Studio Paint as a still image, so I didn't animate these two. I just put it on a plane in the 3D space of the scene. I could then move the camera slowly over the grass, coming in closer towards our subjects. We can't have them stand here in front of a pitch black background, so let's jump back to Clip Studio Paint and try out the paint tools and get a sunset going in here. I started by filling my canvas with a gradient of two colors, going from blue to a more yellow-orange sunset color at the bottom of the canvas. I then tried out a bunch of painterly brushes. I explored some of the watercolor ones and uh, I was quickly able to blend some colors together to break up this clean gradient that we started with. So finally we're missing some dialogue here. It would probably have been smart to come up with this before, but hey, it's fun to explore as you go along sometimes. I'm just gonna use my own voice here and try my best to act out what this guy might say to his son. Maybe we put a hint of backstory into this by imagining that maybe they have lost the mother of the boy and together thinking about the past. All right, so let's put on the headphones. Let's try to record some dialogue for this. And uh, I'm gonna play back the video for myself here so I can kind of speak to, to the visuals. And uh, I think I'm gonna have to put on a bit of an old man voice because uh, yeah, he doesn't really look like me. So let's try this. I wish she could have seen you today. She would have been very proud. Let's do it one more time. I wish she could have seen you today. She would have been very proud. All right, let's try that. Uh, hopefully that's something that will work. And uh, let's put it on the edit. All right, I hope that fits the scenario we're going for here. So let's finish this up by animating his mouth so that he actually speaks in the shot. I'm back in Clip Studio Paint for this, and I'm gonna do this on a new animation folder. You can import audio just the same way as you would import videos or images. I have to say I'm really happy with how Clip Studio's animation tools are working. I felt that I could straight away sort of get into this software. I were able to set up a bunch of short commands for different processes like adding new frames and moving back and forth in the timeline. I also created a command to expand a selection and fill it with like a block color which speeds up the coloring process of the character. I definitely think this is a great tool for anyone who's into animation or illustration or painting. And here we can see the final animation play out. I wish she could have seen you today. She would have been very proud. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you imagine this character here saying something else than what I came up with, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear what your take would have been. Check out my Patreon page for a lot more videos and also feel free to like and subscribe here on YouTube. It really helps out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.